today we're going to upgrade the memory on your second generation Mac Pro. Before we begin, let's check the amount of RAM currently installed. You can check this by going to the top left corner of your screen. The first item under the Apple menu is about this Mac. It is common for Macs to be able to use more RAM than the system manual indicates. The system maximum can increase with new firmware updates or new versions of OS X. You can easily find the maximum RAM for your Mac at our website, ramjet.com, or by calling us at 1-800-831-4569. Installing RAM in your Mac Pro does not require any tools. First, shut down your computer by going to the Apple menu and select Shut Down. Once your machine is powered down, unplug all cables from the computer, including the power cord. After you shut down the computer, the internal components may be very hot. Let the computer cool down for 5 to 10 minutes before continuing. Some technicians prefer to lay the Mac Pro down, but we've found for this model of Mac Pro, it's easier to install the RAM with the computer upright. Hold the side access panel and lift the latch on the back of the computer. The edges of the access panel and the cage can be very sharp, so be careful when handling them. By doing this, you will be touching the metal case, and this will discharge any static electricity built up in your body. Once the side panel is removed, you will see the two memory riser cards. Grip the memory riser card with the two finger holes. Pull it out of the memory cage and place the riser card on a clean, flat surface, dim side up. Note that the dims have heat sinks on either side of the module. Do not remove these heat sinks. It could damage the memory. To remove the dims, move the plastic ejectors on either side of the memory module by pushing them out to the side. Then gently remove the DIMMs from the slot. The new memory will install into specific slots on the memory riser card for maximum performance. Two DIMMs will install in this configuration. Four DIMMs will install in this configuration. Six DIMMs will install in this configuration. And eight DIMMs will install in this configuration. The memory is keyed so it will only install one way. Line up the notch of the DIMM with the corresponding notch in the memory slot. Insert the dim and push both ends of the dim down until the clips on either side close on their own. You will not close these manually. Insert the riser card back into the computer. Push the card into place. You will hear a slight click when the card is fully seated. Then, replace the side panel. Finally, start your computer. After your Mac Pro starts up, confirm that the RAM is being recognized correctly. Go to the Apple menu in the upper left corner and click About This Mac. If the new RAM is not registering properly, then you will need to locate the source of the problem and reinstall that module. With the computer still on, remove the side panel and locate the LED lights on the memory riser. You will see them located in the middle front of each riser card as shown. There are four LED lights on each card, and each light corresponds to one dim slot. If one of the LEDs is illuminated, then that corresponding dim is the one causing the problem. Remove and reinstall that DIM. You can find out more about Ramjet by visiting our website, ramjet.com, or by liking us on Facebook.